Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the new Zod Dart XL. This is a big blown up version with some modifications of the legendary Zod Dart. Now it's, the Zod Dart is much smaller and it's got some different configurations, looks a little bit different, but essentially this is a blown up version with enhancements. This is a premium quality flying wing. So I'm gonna quit talking. We're gonna open up the box and we're gonna see what's going on inside. All right, guys, as you can see, everything is packaged really well. Coming up next, we're gonna look at everything going on inside these boxes. All right, guys, here's everything that comes inside the box. I'm gonna go over some of these things in a little more detail here shortly, but the long and short of it is, I started looking at each thing that came in each box and figured that's just gonna take forever and let's keep this thing nice and concise. These ESC instructions also came inside the box. This also comes with a user guide. It has two sides on it, single sheet. And you can see the different configurations you can do with your GoPros or run cams right here to the side, very cool. Also has a little continuation of the way things are laid out within the plane. Coming up next, I'm gonna put this thing together. All right, guys, things are starting to take shape. We have some action going on right here underneath this. And I want to show you this nice up close. Got some great ventilation coming through here. Got a couple little quirks right back here that we'll get to here shortly. But wanted to show you. I Velcroed this ESC in place. I twisted those wires together. Also electrical taped those wires together. Make sure everything is nice and solid. Don't want these coming loose in flight. I don't think they will because they actually fit together nice and snug, but I like to be better safe than sorry. Right here, we've got our XT60 plug. It's the kind of battery plug you need. And we've got this JST. I'm not sure what this thing's all about. I haven't seen that before on the ESC, so if you know, let me know. And right here, we've got some wires that we've got to go to the receiver. i got to figure all that out. But before we take the next step and install the receiver and cover some other things, I want to show you this pin right here. We've got one on either side. And you snap these wings, these main wings, in place. There's little six pin connectors on either side that connect to these, right? And then you just screw those pins in for the final touch. And this thing is not going anywhere. It's gonna be nice and solid. You can probably toss it Frisbee style if you want. Very cool. In fact, let's keep this rolling. Let's take a look inside our battery bay. All right, so that's where we've got our camera options. The cool thing about this is this battery bay is huge. It is absolutely massive. So you can adjust whatever you wanna do, you can do. Just make sure that it fits with the center of gravity and you've got little pins under the wing that we'll get to here in a little bit, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, we can use these things here, configure our cameras, use the cameras to help adjust our CG. I plan on the maiden flight for sure because I don't have my 3300 4S pack yet. Probably do a 2200 4S pack on the maiden flight. We'll see. Subject to change, but that's my plan as of right now. And I'll probably add extra camera gear or dead weight to make up for that. But we'll see. We'll see. And coming up next, I am going to do some more. All right, guys. So this plane is not very complicated at all, really. It's so simple. It seems like there's something missing, but it really isn't. So let's do a little control surfaces test. Lots of throws we've got on this thing. I'm gonna have to tame it down, I'm sure. This is 100% rates. Everything is set at neutral. Now this is a flying wing, so you're gonna to wanna to set a little bit of up angle. So I'm gonna mechanically trim it up a little bit, a couple millimeters or two or three or four or five. We'll see how that goes. I should probably have John hand launch it for me when we do the maiden. And as you can see, I don't yet have the the horizontal stabs, or vertical stabs rather, off there on the corner on there. Those are a super simple install, so I wanted to make sure I got the, the more electronic stuff situated, because normally that takes a little bit longer. So 
what we're going to do is take a look at what we've got here. And we have two little extra uh, servo cables that are hardwired underneath. And I'll show you that a little bit later, hopefully. Um, basically, it, it's really cool. You can add extra stuff like uh, FPV gear or anything you want to connect to it. So this platform is extremely versatile. I love that about this. And really all I had to do with my little AR400, I'll pull that out. I haven't Velcroed that in yet, but I will here as soon as we're done shooting this right here. So basically I put one side in the elevator and one side in the aileron. And it's that simple. And of course plugged in the throttle, bound it. I did have to calibrate the throttle. It was making some noise when I set it up. So uh, if you don't know how to calibrate or throttle, do a Google search on that. That is highly recommended. Also, it describes how to do that in the manual too, which is what actually what I referenced. But to have like the bigger picture understanding of how that works, just do a quick little YouTube or Google search on the hows and whys. It's pretty important, especially if you're gonna try and fly something this caliber, you're gonna wanna understand why you're doing that. All right, guys, I am going to be back here shortly and we're gonna tackle something else. All right, you guys, here's a look at the bottom of this beast. Hopefully you guys notice a couple things. One, that we've got three large prominent skid plates. That is awesome. Now these skid plates back here, they double as little connector receptacles right there on these. I'll show you how those fit in here in a little bit, but for right now I wanted to give you that preview. Basically this little mechanism right here secures it. You twist it, boom, it secures it right as it pops through that hole. There you go. Also, right while we're here, this is that secondary servo that I was talking about. Um, we've got the one underneath that pops through that connects to this, but we've got this as well as this on the other side. They're kind of tucked in there, but you can pop them out and utilize them for whatever you want. So. Those are really cool. Another really cool feature is this foam right here is pre-punched out. You can pop that out. In fact, we've got that on both sides. So you can do some FPV stuff. Yeah, right there. I was looking through the monitor. But on both sides, you can put a VTX or antenna. Um, you've got a lot of things you can do on this thing. Also, Right here, you can see the little hole. And if you look really close, you can see there's carbon fiber in there. Got a tube in there on both sides. This wing is very well reinforced. In fact, I think we may have another one. Yep, we've got two sets of carbon fiber tubes, as well as the tube that goes right through the center of the wing. So, and got a little carbon fiber right there on the aileron. So. We have a ton of support on this thing. This is really, really well built. It, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to fly this thing, guys. All right, I am going to do a couple things. We're going to do some stuff with the prop here shortly. Going to do a motor test probably. But now I'm going to flip it back over and we're going to finish off a couple things. Okay, so one last thing before I flip this over. This is a CG mark right there. We've got one right there. And those will be extremely helpful when we're dialing in the battery placement as well as the camera placement. Make sure that we've got everything either neutral or just a touch nose heavy. You do not want to be tail heavy with the wing, let me tell you. All right, coming up next, we're going to flip this thing over and get some more stuff done. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about these Vortex generators. And these are these right here. Now, technically you don't need any glue for this RC plane. However, I really don't want to lose any of these. And they're actually, they fit in there fairly snugly. However, if you have a crash or a mishap or anything, those are, they could potentially fall out. So I'm going to make a simple application of some CA glue, just some really light CA glue and glue those in there. But as you can see, each wing has a nice set of them. 
and it'll just enhance stability. Uh, we've got the vertical stabs here. In fact, all right, so this is for that side. We'll do, we'll make sure this is all nice and level. All right, let's pop that in there. It's all nice and level. Let's pop that in there. And just twist it on the bottom. So easy, guys. Boom. So easy you can do it one hand. Sink that in there. I am literally doing this one handed. My goodness. This one's a little bit pickier. I'll circle back to that one. All right, so there you go. That's basically it. That's how you do the vertical stabs. All right, so earlier I mentioned that there were a couple little quirks with this. So you want to snap that down, get it beyond that plate just a little bit, and then these literally screw in. So I'll screw those in, nice and simple. Well, you get the idea. This is scooting. I kind of need two hands to really do it. All right, so you get the idea. And boom, it's in nice and secure, even just with one screw partially in there. So not a horrible design, but a little quirky. And then now we are going to do something else coming up next. All right, guys. We are going to go over our action camera options as well as FPV stuff. Right here off to the side. You can fit an FPV camera, and you can add whatever one you want to help with the center of gravity, the battery that you use. And here is a GoPro session. This is the black, not the five, it's the black, and fits in there great with that plastic piece, or excuse me, foam piece. Let's pop that out of there right there. Trying to do this stuff one-handed isn't the easiest, but you know what? It's challenge, and I like challenge, so yes. Right there, boom, fits like that, cool. Same thing with this. It's a little bit tighter fit with this, but it will work. You just have to be a little more patient because this form factor is just a tiny bit smaller. Uh, it's black, so it actually looks smaller than it is, but uh, there we go. And I've got my run cam too. I really like my run cam too. I'm surprised at how well it works. The colors are great. All those things. In fact, check out my review for the Run Cam 2. I did a really good job on that, I believe. And boom, this thing will fit. Let's just keep this going, keep it rolling. Boom, fits right in there. So those are our camera options, guys. And of course, you can fit a full-size one right in there. At least that's what the details for this plane show. I don't have one handy, so I can't test that, but there you go, guys. Little action cam roundup. And of course, I love my AKK FPV stuff, and I'm gonna use, probably use a camera here on the maiden flight just for uh, center of gravity purposes. Let's see where that camera is. All right, this little guy, little extra weight. Yeah, so there we go. And we'll find out what I actually end up doing with the center of gravity. And that's coming up next. All right, guys, I did a couple things. One, I installed the prop on this thing. Very cool. The other thing is I got the center of gravity nice and secure. Got the FPV camera in there. And now let's look inside the battery bay. So I did a couple things. One, I added two quarters. And I thought that I had more of these weights right here handy, but I did not. And I just secured them with Velcro, so they'll come back out nice and easy. And the center of gravity is pretty much perfect. And now I'm going to do a prop test coming up next. All right, guys, we're gonna give this thing a little test here. Of course, that is 8%. Not too bad, not too bad. Now I had to play with this a little bit to get it nice and centered. And it's still not 100% centered. I'm not sure if there's something I'm missing. Um, 
but I think this is definitely good enough to fly. Made launch, man. That was perfect. You can get no better than that. That's solid.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that maiden flight footage. I really enjoyed flying it. I think this plane looks and feels awesome in the air. A lot of that has to do with the design, the engineering, the vortex generators are nice. One thing that I don't think I mentioned earlier in the video is when you hand toss it, you've got some nice deep grooves there for a nice grip. John said that he was impressed with how this thing hand launched all the way around, but having that slot right there was a, definitely a bonus. I think overall, I overall this plane, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. I do want to point out a couple things that given that this is a pre-production model, there are a couple quirks that the production models should not have issues with based on the feedback from reviewers like myself to Sonic Model, the maker of Zod. And honestly, they have really worked closely with myself and other folks, um, taking every little bit of feedback that we've given them to heart. And my respect for that company has gone up through the roof throughout this process. So I hats off to them. Um, that's just terrific. So a couple of points that I want to make one, the prop that's sent with the production models, it's going to be black. It's not going to be gray and it's not going to be out of balance. Like this one is, this was kind of a last minute, uh, throw together in there. And not only is the color going to be better, the balance, the performance, all that. So the top speed's going to be better. The, the volume is going to be better. I accidentally uh, forgot to increase the volume on my my camera here after shooting stuff in inside here. So when I'm outside, I bump up the volume to a seven. And when I'm indoors, I'm using a lapel mic. So I bump that down because the gain, the proximity to my mouth is really close. So I bump that down to a four. So part of the reason why that audio was quieter than it would normally be is because of that. I, I bumped it up, but I don't think I hit save properly and that's why. So hopefully the quiet audio didn't distract you too much. And, but if it would have been louder, you would have heard how out of balance that properly was, especially as it got deeper into the flight, you noticed it a bit more. All right. And let's see. So yes, this battery, we use the 2200. I got easily 10 minutes of flight time, 62% left. And, oh man, I am so excited that I can use a 2200 that most people have. And you don't need to order a custom battery special or anything like that. Now I do have a 3300 4S pack coming. That way I can just fly this and fly this and fly this without any issues. But it's also nice to be able to fly with a 2200 that like I said, most of us have. And another thing I do want to say is that I made a slight modification to this foam. All I did was slice into it. That way I can push this deeper. That way the run cam two does not have some of that black showing up in the video footage, which you saw during the maiden flight. I think that footage would have turned out even better if I had done that prior. My bench testing showed that that wasn't going to be an issue, but it shift the foam shifted just a little bit before we put it in the air. And I'm hoping that slicing that in or making slices in that and pushing it in is gonna make sure that that does not happen again in the future. If it doesn't on my next flight, I'll just make the slices a little bit deeper and we'll keep modifying that until we get it right. So, all right, with all that being said, check the, the description. I'm gonna have a few more things, a few more bullet points uh, related to this in the description. But that is kind of the long and short of it. I really like this plane. I am looking forward to FPVing this thing out. I may do a few more line of sight videos with it before I really jump into the FPV realm. But I am so excited about this plane, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden out.